a number among the enforcers, but it's most assuredly not for lack of skill. So long as her lord wills it, she'll fight till she's breathed her last. And with that, the first act was a most impressive performance. But now begins our second act of despair. <clears throat> this isn't looking good. Oh, what can we do? They've got the advantage now. There's no way we're getting past them. <laughs> I'm afraid they have to bow out for now, but not to worry. The real stars of Act 2 have arrived. Could it be? Come on, pay attention now. Oh my! <gasps> They're fast! Your Highness, Toval! You came to help us? If I didn't know you, I'd almost think you were there the whole time. You had to have planned that. <laughs> well, we weren't standing around waiting for the right time to make our grand entrance. I'll give you that much. Speak for yourself. And if you must know, Class 7, the situation in Western Erebonia has finally turned in our favor. And as soon as it did, we made for the capital as fast as we could. Even so, we only just arrived. Thank goodness for that. We're grateful to have your support. <laughs> to think I would get the chance to face you here after all, Prince Oliver. The goddess has truly shined her light upon us. Or the devils have cast their shadows at the very least. Ugh! Who cares about a debaucherous prince in some bracer who's only as good as his arts? If you're going to try and talk big, at least bring Euler Vander with you. Oh, but we did bring him. Pardon? Contrary to the inside, things weren't looking so hot out in front of the castle, so we asked him to stay out there and hold the line. His friend showed up to help too, so who wants to bet how long it'll take before they got everything under control? His friend? You couldn't mean... Sword of a Vander! He's incredible. So he's the young lion of the Vanders. I would expect nothing finer from those charged with protecting the Imperial family. Ladies and gentlemen of Thors, I've come to your aid. We should be able to handle everything here until reinforcements are... Here! You're finished! Instructor Nightheart! You came to help us? Having him around will help even the odds a little. Nice to see you made it, Nightheart. I heard they were keeping you busy over by the east exit. Didn't think you were going to show up so soon. Brigadier General Wallace called for a temporary ceasefire in light of the current situation. Once I received permission from the Lieutenant General, I came here as fast as I could. I'm more surprised that you were able to make it this far into the city. <laughs> I'm only here because that idiot got it in his brain to burst in with his usual fanfare. But I left the babysitting duties to Tova, so not to worry. I can give this battle my full attention. Is that so? In that case, what would you say to a friendly wager? Say, which of us can take down more of these knights? You're on. We haven't had one of those since our days in the same battalion. Oh my! What a combination of chiseled physiques and battlefield camaraderie! Would you mind if I joined in the fun, too? 
friend of yours, perhaps? Uh, let's just focus on fighting. You just leave things here to us. It looks like you've got quite the climb ahead of you. Rouse those fighting spirits of yours. And do what you can to save Cedric. Yes, your highness. We won't let you down. Kick some ass, Toval. Well, good luck. We're counting on you. Please, stay safe. You're not going anywhere! Your Highness! <laughs> right there with you. Arcus, Arcus activate! Are they both casting arts at the same time? What fun! How often does one get to do battle with two distinguished arts users at then it seems I will have to demonstrate my proficiency with my own magic as well. This is not the time to try and one-up each other! <laughs>